Good morning and welcome to my workshop. Hopefully you're hearing me and seeing me a lot better. My better side. Okay, new camera. What are we talking about today? Motorcycle batteries. Yes, they come in all different shapes and sizes and amps. This one is even a lithium battery and it comes with a self-testing unit and weighs absolutely nothing compared to a much heavier battery. And there's another shape one. This is on the 125. Although it charges the 12 volts, it's not kicking out the amps. And there lies your problem. Even with a tester, it will still say 12, 13 volts, but it may not be kicking out the amps. And this is the problem I've had many, many, many times before. So you end up with two things. One of these that you keep charging up on a regular basis, or a trickle charge, which I'm gonna show you in a minute, which is on my big bike. Before we pop into the garage, what's the worst thing you can ever do to a battery? Don't let them go completely flat. This often happens during the winter time or when you've parked the bike up for a long amount of time, a month let's say, you know, without starting it, you get back on it and it's dead. Once these batteries go completely flat, what I've always been taught and told was they go to earth. And basically the cells, these are filled up with cells, eight cells, whatever the amount they are, and they bow. And once they touch, that's destroyed the cell, and this is where your battery starts to fail in the first place. But after a prolonged amount of time of not being started and charged, they go flat, they're knackered. Okay, so it's the worst thing you can do. Always either start your bike regularly. My top tip for the day, if you're not going to use your motorcycle, moped for a long time, take off the power lead off of your battery. That's the positive, the red one. Take it off, move it away. Leaving it earth is fine, but taking that power off means the battery will stay where it is. It won't have any drain on it whatsoever, and it'll keep a little bit of charge in there. Charge it back up, and away you go again once you start the bike. Or if you put a battery charger on, like I'm going to do in a minute, in the garage. So that's my top tip. Take the live off if you're not using it. Otherwise, keep them topped up. Start your bike regularly, even though you're not going to use it that much. Do start it every fortnight or so, let it tick over and run, or it'll go flat. And now it's the 20 to 70, 80 pounds to get another one. So why bother doing that when you can simply do that maintenance? Let's get in the garage. So here we are in my garage. And here's my very pretty VN 1600 Kawasaki. On here I have a Techmate. This is a trickle charge unit. These just simply plug in. We'd have already connected it to the battery under here to positive and negative. And you just simply plug them into the mains. Once plugged in, they go through a diagnostics. And it tells you if your battery is really low or it needs a little bit of charge. The reason why I say they sort of lead you into false potences is that the battery is low, you'd never know. Because every time you start the bike from the garage, it runs fine. You may come a copper the next day though, if you took it out and left it somewhere overnight, it's had all that time to settle and the amps aren't quite there and you get the non-starting or very slow starting. This is the problem happening with my Ducati now. Give her a charge and after about three days start noticing she slowly starts to start um, and at work I'm getting a rrrr rrrr rrr noise, you're never quite sure it's going to go or not. The next thing you often find is, where the hell is the battery? On many bikes. It's under a panel here. On the FJR 1300, it was down here. This bike though, it's not so bad. It's this off. It's bolts, and this one, it's a simple key. One seat, and then lift this one up, and wiggle. Lots of wiggling. Here we have Mobat. These are good quality batteries, but I'm just starting to notice it's slowly not starting so well so i'm going to charge up today and i'm going to have to replace this one on my big vn it's bolts take this seat off take that seat off and you find it under here what's my advice to you today as long as your bike starts and stops it's fine there's no real limit to a battery for two four year guarantees i've seen some bikes with batteries for a long long time even cars you know eight years without changing the battery it just depends on the life of the battery and there's no real stead good fast way to do it either it's not the old batteries, like you have to check the acid and keep it topped up and so on. A lot of these batteries now are completely sealed. My advice to you is the very first day you start to get a slow start and it runs fine and then two days later another slow start. Really seriously think about changing the battery quickly where you get the and then nothing. So for the sound effects. 
you're not going to be able to push a 1300cc bike, not alone a 500 or 600cc. So get your battery changed. They're not a lot of money. eBay nowadays, you can get them very good value. Halfords even do them with stock a certain amount of batteries. One piece of important advice, make sure you get the right volt and the right amp for your bike. Not on the size and the terminals. Don't just get a generic battery, you have to get the right one. Otherwise you've got to start messing around trying to move the positive and negatives and so on. Trying to pull the wires, they're set, they're the right length, so you can't do that. You have to buy the right battery for your bike. And most times you can type in Google or eBay, your make and model battery, and up they'll pop with a huge amount of different prices. And that's down to you. I wouldn't go for the cheap, cheap ones. Go for a battery type that's got good recommendations with it. And you don't have to go for expensive ones like showed that lithium battery. They're all singing, all dancing, but they're going to be a bit of money. Right, hope that's been helpful. Please like, share and subscribe and check out my other videos. I'm going to get charging this and then get inside and then get another one because I know it's starting to die. Take care of yourselves on the road.